Okay. Hello, you guys. I'm so excited you're all here this evening on this beautiful Thursday night. My name is Dr. Stacy Holweger, and I know, always want to start with letting you know what kind of doctor I am. Everybody wants to know that. So I have a PhD in integrative medicine. I'm actually working on my PhD in functional medicine right now. And what those mean are basically using different holistic modalities different types of um, natural ways to help the body get into balance, to help the body to be able to um, have its best quality of life, right? Your body, anybody's body. And so I have a lot of tools in my toolbox. I've, I've done a lot of studies in all different types, many different modalities, of course, over the years. And so um, not medicine as far as, um, you know, prescription medications. I don't deal with any of that. Obviously, though, I do know things about them. I don't prescribe them. I don't order blood work. Uh, that's just not my forte. I love to educate. I used to be a school teacher 30 years ago. Like I said, I love to educate people and help them in health and wellness and improving their quality of life. Uh, wherever they are, whatever age they are. And so with that, um, please understand that tonight, the information that I share with you is not intended, of course, to um, diagnose you or to give you any ideas on, you know, treating or curing yourself. I am going to share information. I'm going to share ideas and, and suggestions of things, but we're going to be talking about symptoms that you may be experiencing or symptoms that other people experience and how you can help, um, you know, improve your quality of life. Okay, so uh, what I'll be saying will be based on studies, clinical studies done with people, but not talking about, um, you know, a clinical study with Parkinson's or a clinical study with um, neuropathy, right? So we're going to talk about the things that people experience, and you can ask any questions you want. So with that, I'm going to share this technology. So the person that invited you here is excited for you to hear about this, this brand new stem cell technology, and know that stem cells are not new. But this technology is fairly new as far as being a wearable light technology with stem cells. So this has only been out on the market just a few years. The inventor of this tech, his name is David Schmidt. He is an inventor, a scientist, a researcher. He's a lab rat, and he's invented things his entire life. Um, it took him 10 years in research and development in the lab to figure out how to signal your body's stem cell production. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But just so you know, if you're not really for sure what stem cells are, stem cells are what we call the holy grail of healing. All right. We have an abundance of them when we're young. That's why kids have boundless amounts of energy. They go, go, go. They can fall over in a crowded room and they can sleep like a baby, right? They can ride their bikes, fall down, break their bones and get up and take off running like nothing ever happened. You never see a five-year-old with gray hair or a 10-year-old with back pain or a 15-year-old with heart disease because they have a boundless amounts of stem cells in their body, an abundance of that. And so we know as we age, we make less stem cells. By the time we're in our 30s, you make about half the stem cells you did when you were a child, which is why you start to see the fine lines. You start to have a lesser quality of sleep. Maybe your metabolism slows down a little bit. You kind of start to go like, why did I walk in this room? And you turn around and walk back out again, right? Maybe you don't have as much energy and vitality as you once did. And then by the time in your 60s, there's less than 10% stem cells detectable in your bloodstream. So what does that mean for a child when they break their bone? Well, they they heal quick, right? They get up and they take off and they're just like, go, go, go. What if grandma breaks her bone? Grandma may never get out of bed because she doesn't have the stem cells on board to repair herself, right? <laughs> I love Maury. I love your faces. She's like, what? <laughs> exactly. Oh my God, grandma's not getting up. She broke her hip. Yeah, and because her body just doesn't have what it needs to repair and regenerate. And so what we're talking about tonight is regenerative medicine. We're talking about this stem cell technology to help your body repair and regenerate and rejuvenate like it did when it was young and youthful, okay? And so just so you guys got to have an understanding of me as well, too, you know, I've been researching stem cells for 20 years. I banked both of my kids cord blood back when cord blood was not even a thing. <laughs> OK, and I, I remember uh, watching a TV program one day. I can't remember the name of the channel, but it was one of those educational documentary things. And they were talking about using donor cord blood from donor, you know, moms, children, obviously, um, to cure. They said cure. They were curing African-American children with sickle cell anemia with donor cord blood. 
And I thought, wow, that's crazy. And then they went on to talk about cancer and diabetes and heart disease and Alzheimer's and you know the list of, of types of conditions and diseases and issues that people could potentially face as they got older and cord blood could reverse that for them. So bank your kids cord blood and they could be able to you know, have the better opportunity, right? Lori's like, yes, she gets that. Perfect. So I ended up having to do about 10 years of traditional stem cell therapy with my daughter in and out of the country after um, a misdiagnosis of cancer when she was four, traumatic brain injury, bleed, a code, a coma, and more surgeries than medications than anybody should ever have to look, even think about in their entire life. And so we did all kinds of holistic therapies to help her recover from that. And stem cell therapy was a big part of it. Uh, it was very costly. We spent over $100,000 out of pocket going in and out of the country, doing all different types of things, spending months on in in locations um, to do different types of modalities to help her. And so when I found this tech last year, I was looking for things, obviously, to help her improve her quality of life. I had never seen a non-transdermal patch before obviously that let alone signaled your body to increase its own stem cell production. I'm very familiar with transdermal patches and I'm sure you guys are too. Transdermal patches are like birth control patches, nicotine patch, pain patch, estrogen patch. They're putting a chemical or a substance in the body to do something, okay? To alter something. This patch doesn't work that way. This is non-transdermal. Non-transdermal means nothing thing goes into the body. This is wearable light technology. And so how this works is when we apply this patch to our body, our body's light or heat, right? You can feel your 98.6. You better be. <laughs> Otherwise you better get to the doctor right away if you're not 98.6. So you can feel your heat, right? Your light emi being emitted from your body. You can see that light. If you go outside, it's going to be night here so shortly in the next hour. If you go out and look through night vision goggles, you'll be able to see the colors, right? Being emitted from the body, the red, the blue, the yellow, the green, right? That light or heat that's being emitted from the person. So when you apply this patch, our body's light reflects back a signal from the patch. What, and you're probably thinking, what, what do you mean a signal? What is a signal? So this patch, the white part right here, embedded in it, is a crystal lattice structure, okay? So not a clear quartz crystal or an amethyst or tourmaline, but a crystal lattice structure. So the structure is made up of a compound of organic amino acids and sugars, oxygen, water, salts, okay? That form this lattice. And this lattice is embedded in here. And our body's light reflects back a signal from that lattice. That lattice communicates with our body to increase our stem cell production. And it does that through the pathway of GHKCU copper peptide. I don't know if you guys have heard of copper peptide or not. It's the, it is in the anti-aging world and the esthetician. If you guys get facials, any estheticians on here, they know GHKCU, right? And so Laura's gonna put a website in our chat. It's reverse aging with GHK.com. It's a Dr. Lauren Picard that spent over 50 years of clinical studies uh, research with people looking at the benefits of increasing GHKCU. And so David started researching him and looking at his studies a long time ago and thought, this is fantastic. Everything from anti-aging to COPD to asthma, allergies to breast, prostate, and colon cancer. Like we've got all the studies here that show the benefits of GHKCU, which is fabulous. But I need to figure out how to signal the body to increase its stem cell production because increasing GHK is fabulous. But increasing stem cell production is the holy grail. And so he took 10 years in the lab, four and a half million dollars out of his own pocket, 10 years of R&D, never stopping to try to figure out how to signal the body to do what it's designed to do, which is to repair itself and regenerate itself. And he figured it out just a few years ago. And that's why we have this patch right here today. And this patch is changing lives. It's really improving the quality of people's lives. So you probably wanna know, what do you expect, right? What are you gonna notice first? What's gonna happen? What am I gonna feel? And I'm gonna share with you what clinical studies say, okay? Now remember, nothing's going into your body. So there's no side effects. There's no contraindications to any medications you're on any supplements you're on, any current therapies or modalities that you're utilizing, um, nothing is going in. It's a signal, right? Increasing your own stem cell production, upregulating 6,000 of your genes, increasing your collagen production. So it's not gonna put anything into your body. So you're okay if you're currently doing something else. 
no, no worries about side effects or contraindications, okay? But what do you experience? Well, we can see from clinical studies that people experience pain reduction. When I slapped this thing on Laura in 20 minutes on her shoulder, she had a reduction of pain right? I slapped it on her husband, Tommy, that day that I, we went to see David last year, and he had the best deep sleep he'd had in forever. He couldn't remember that night. Now, is it normal to have experience like that on day one? No, they're part of the One Patch Wonder Club, <laughs> but not everybody's like that. I'm going to share with you clinical studies. So clinical studies show that within the first three to six weeks, people experience pain reduction. They experience a deeper quality sleep, REM sleep, they have more mental clarity and energy and concentration and focus. They heal faster, right? Their wounds heal faster. There was a, a lady on my team, she's 72 years old, Sharon. She broke her wrist. She went and got x-rays. She put the patch on, patching. Nine days later, she goes back. No more break. They didn't want to give her her x-rays. There's like, there's no way you can heal at 72 years old. Your bones cannot repair in nine days. And she goes, oh yes, they can. Because I'm using this stem cell technology. That's fast wound healing, right? So that's part of our, our beautiful side effect of, of increasing your stem cells. And then recovery from daily activity and fitness and mental clarity, concentration, energy, focus, things like that are improved as well too. And then from there, we really start to see improvements when we're looking at the systems of the body. So around that three to six week mark, we start to see improvements in our digestive system, our nervous system, and our immune system. And those are three pretty important systems, I would say. And I would say that most people have compromised um, systems. When you look at the nervous system, most people are in fight or flight mode. They're go, 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 nonstop, stressed, worry, fear, go, 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 anxiety, right? right? Some of you guys are smiling. You're like, oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> well, the opposite of that is parasympathetic, the rest and digest. We're going to talk specifically about that here in just a minute with our Eon patch that puts your body in that calm, rest, relaxed mode. But this patch also helps your nervous system, improves the, the functionality of your nervous system, and it improves your digestive system. You know, if you're stressed all the time, your, your intestines are in knots, right? You're probably not having regular bowel movements, or if you are, they're all over the board, the IBS, the bloating, the constipation, the diarrhea, the gas, the blah, right? And so this is going to help get your digestive system in check, as well as your, your immune system, which is housed in your digestive tract. So it's really important that we work on that immune system. But if something really great happens at the six-week mark. And we start to see massive improvements in your cardiovascular system, the entire vascular system. Looking at the heart, we can see every six weeks, your vascular system is functioning eight weeks younger. Every six weeks, it's functioning eight weeks younger. And we see this in our studies because we're testing the heart, right? We're looking at the EKGs. We're looking at the echoes. We're looking at the HRVs. We're looking at the, the functionality of the entire vascular system in people. And we see improvements. So what does that mean for you? We only have one heart. We all do have one. And we want to make sure, especially those of us on here that are women who hold your emotions right here, right? And number one killer for, for it's heart disease, but it's women more than men, right? So making sure that you keep your heart healthy as can be physically and obviously emotionally as well too. But seeing that those improvements, those progression, we have a couple of people that I've interviewed here recently, a couple of doctors, um, one had, um, branch, uh, right branch blockage in his heart. And, you know, in your artery, you don't get to like fix that. Like you don't put a stent in. And so that, you know, would definitely decrease his, his longevity, the length of his life. And, um, he had, uh, PCVs, like abnormal, uh, heartbeats his entire life. Right. He said, he just, you know, like almost kind of catch him off guard and couldn't sleep well and things like that his entire life. And within eight months, his blockage is completely gone like a right branch blockage gone. And he, of course he has a cardiologist. He did all the tests with his cardiologist. He went back for follow-up with his cardiologist and all the tests showed everything was perfectly normal. And the doctor's like, What's, what are you doing? <laughs> this doesn't happen. He's like, well, I'm using this stem cell patch. Stem cells happened. That's what happened. Um, so we have another doctor I interviewed that um, had had a heart attack when he was 45. And at the time of this interview, he was 65. 
And at 45, you know, being a doctor that he'd already, you know, of course can measure the functionality of his heart and he has a family of doctors and pharmacists and, you know, he's on all kinds of medications and the heart was functioning at age 75. Well, by the time I get to interview him at age 65, um, his heart is functioning still as a 75 year old, right? Except for he had been using this patch for a year. So he'd done all kinds of medications and everything. He met a woman. She had him do all kinds of holistic modalities, all kinds of herbs and stuff. And his heart was still functioning as a 75 year old until he used this patch for one year. Well, one year later, his heart's functioning in his mid thirties. Now, how did he go from almost 20 years of having a heart that was 75 years old to now it's functioning in its thirties? Like how did that happen? Stem cells repaired the vascular system, rejuvenated the vascular system, right? That's life-changing. What, what about that for mortality rate? That's huge, right? So with that being said, you guys, I did say that this is backed by clinical studies with people. So I do want Laura to share the website. It's startx39.com. I want you to do your research. There's a video on there of David. There's videos of other doctors and practitioners and NFL players, and you know, you name it, estheticians. There's all kinds of stories on there and all kinds of uh, people talking about how they're utilizing this, but there's also all the clinical studies. I want you to look at the science and the research and the data, right? You can see this is real. There are over 90 clinical studies at startx39.com. This patch alone has a 20-year patent, right? A 20-year patent. Like you don't get a patent on something unless it's doing what you say it's doing, right? It has to be effective. And so all that information is there on startx39.com for you guys to, to check out, right? Of course, and feel free to ask any questions. You can type them in the chat. I'm happy to ask or answer anything you have. Um, tell you, we do have other patches. Um, we do have what we call supportive patches. You know, David started this company 20 years ago working with the Navy SEALs, and he was asked to, you know, invent things to help the SEALs on their mission uh, with oxygenation and, and different types of sustainability. And they asked him to create something to help the SEALs get off their caffeine, amphetamines, and uppers. And he was given the information by God, you know, downloaded the idea to create a non-transdermal patch that turned body fat into fuel, and that's called energy enhancer. And that was invented 20 years ago. So this patch being non-transdermal is not new. I didn't know about it. <laughs> I know none of you knew about it, right? Um, but this, this was invented 20 years ago. And everything was going fantastic with the SEALs until 9-11 happened here in the U.S. And of course, the Department of Defense took a very different turn to protect the country and in weapons and whatnot. And so they stopped that mission. And David decided that at that point, he was going to start his own company because of so many people on caffeine, amphetamines and uppers and all kinds of coffee and, you know, you name it to be able to increase their energy level, right? People were wore out. So he thought this would be a healthy alternative. And he had already had ideas of other types of things to be able to help people improve their quality of life, like Eon that reduces inflammation, right? Or like Ice Wave that gets rid of pain on the spot or like glutathione that signals the body to increase its own glutathione production, which is the master antioxidant and detoxer. So there have been a dozen patches invented over the last 20 years. The person that invited you can send you a summary sheet, one page summary PDF, where you can see each patch and what it does, but know that each patch is backed by clinical studies as well. We have over 20 years of clinical studies. So they're all there on that website. Um, okay, so this is not other people's stem cells. That's a great question. <laughs> No, it's not. It is definitely not. Absolutely not. No, there is nothing on the patch. Nothing is going into the body. Your body has its own stem cells. You were born with an abundance of them. This patch says, hey, let's go. Wake up. You were there. You used to work before. Start activating again. Elevate. Let's go. Mobilize. Move. They're your stem cells. Your body is going to increase its own stem cell production. We see this through blood work. We can, we can test it, right? And so it's increasing your body's stem cell production. If you stop using the patch, will your body remember how to keep making the, cell, the cells? Okay, so when your body increases its stem cell production, and let's say you're, um, say you're like me, right? Almost 48 years old, right? So my stem cell production is diminished. 
okay? Because I'm, you know, getting closer to 60 than I am to, you know, 18 and below, right? Obviously. And so the last 14 months, my body has made more stem cells, more stem cells, more stem cells, okay? And so when I went to the uh, naturopathic doctor that Laura goes to, I went at six months because David has said, you know, about every six months, your body becomes eight, eight years younger, cellular level, right? So I'm like, well, let me go see what my blood work shows. And yeah, you know, I've taken care of myself, been healthy, always in preventative medicine, all types of things, holistic. So I figure I was probably younger than 47 at that time, but I don't know how much, right? I don't know. Um, but I go in and they do my blood work and the nurse practitioner says, well, I can tell you that you're a 30 year old female, um, your, your vitamin D level looks great. You're nowhere near menopause and you know, you don't need to worry about any of that. So what can I help you with? And I'm like, well, I'm almost 48 and my biomarker showed I was 30, 18 years younger. So are my, my, my body right now, my stem cells, my body is functioning at least as a 25 year old by now. Right. That was at six months. I was 30 and here I am, you know, another eight months later, I'm definitely, the science says you're going to go back to 25. Your body's going to go back to 25. You're going to hang out at 25. So my body is producing stem cells using this, this technology as if I'm 25 years old. So if I stop using the patch and I don't use it anymore, my body is going to start its aging process as it would at age 25. 25 year olds still have an abundance of stem cells. Now, 48 year olds don't have as much, right? have right like that's like double the age so my body's going to be able to keep the progress that it's made and and continue to have a, a obviously this is all about prevention right i'm 25 i'm 25 right on the cellular level so my body will just do the normal aging process as it would of any 25 year old okay so i promise you won't turn into a pumpkin overnight um is there a good test to start to take before you want uh to is there a good test to take before starting on them if someone wanted? So you can do, we have a health tracker. And um, well, like I said, I didn't, I didn't do anything beforehand. I just know powers of stem cells. I stuck it on my body instantly. I've never stopped. But we do have a health tracker that we know we utilize now with our clients. And it helps you in a couple different um, sections, you know, two pretty good sized categories to be able to track yourself, to be able to look at what's going on in your body. I mean, like on a scale of one to 10, like on pain level, where am I at? 10 being I can't handle it. One being I have no pain. And I'm going to track that progress over the course of um, the first 90 days. So in your sleep, in your vitality, in your skin, in your energy, a lot of different categories. You can definitely use that. Um, as far as having to have a specific type of test, you don't have to at all. Um, I work with different practitioners and doctors all over the globe. So different people have different um, gadgets and things like that, biowells or genius or biofeedback or neurofeedback. Um, you can do those types of things if you want to. They're not required. They're not necessary. It's totally up to you. If, if you have someone that you work with that um, is in the holistic world that's doing that, you absolutely can, but it's not, not anything that's required. And someone asked about what biomarkers indicate is what's working. So you would have to get with a naturopathic doctor. Um, we don't have time tonight to go into all of that, but get with a, a holistic practitioner doctor that is able to write blood work and they can show you the different uh, biomarkers, looking at the different organs and the functionality of those organs in your body uh, and the different systems, you know, like looking at your endocrine system, looking at your um, your hormones, you know, looking at your, your pancreas and your liver and your kidneys, they all have biomarkers, uh, tests that they do to tell the, um, the age and the functionality of those systems in the body. So you just have to, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I have not been to an MD since I was 18 years old. So I can't tell you that an MD would have that or want to do that or take the time to do that. I don't know. Um, that's been, you know, 30 years for me since I've seen that person. So I don't know, I, I would just seek out somebody holistic. Um, somebody else asked if this is safe for everyone, contraindication for anyone or in any combination, hyperallergenic, does it affect cancer? Um, so the patch is a uh, 3M hypoallergenic patch, no latex, of course, class one medical device, FDA approved Band-Aid. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to have any side effects from the patch, right? The patch is just, it's just sticky. If you don't want to wear it, you can stick it on your shirt. It's still going to do the same thing. 
It doesn't have to touch your skin. Your body's light is coming off at least four inches from your body. Um, so we know that just even having it, you know, on our skin, on our, on our shirt is going to be working, right? So um, there's that question. Is it safe for everyone? Yeah, absolutely. Unless you have had a heart, liver, or kidney transplant, like if you have a foreign organ in your body, you are on immunosuppressant drugs, I am sure, and you would not want to use the stem cell activation patch to increase your stem cells because they will want to go and attack that foreign or organ, okay? Um, so that's the only, the only thing is if you have a foreign organ. Otherwise, there are no contraindications to anything that you're currently doing or using that's perfectly safe. Um, does it affect cancer as far as, um, you know, cancer is one of those things that we're, we definitely, we're not going to talk about treating or curing any types of cancers. Do we have people that utilize this technology going through their chemotherapy, radiation or cancer treatments? Yep, we absolutely do. The only thing is you don't want to use the stem cell activation patch or the other patches on the days you're actually receiving chemo or radiation because those two things kill everything in your body. So it's kind of a waste of money, right? To be able to apply the patch and, and increase your stem cell production when the chemo or radiation is just going to kill it. So I would definitely um, not patch on those days you're receiving chemo or radiation, but on the days that you're not, yes, you definitely can patch. Um, someone says, can you have a Herxheimer? Where to go? Uh, experience it first. That's not common for someone to have some type of like detox it's, it's sometimes it happens with people if you feel a little sluggish or tired. Um, water is the key, okay? And so if you feel like a little, I'm a little under the weather or maybe I'm just a little fatigued, you're probably not consuming enough water. So the requirement is half your body weight in ounces every single day. If you are older, we know for a fact your cells are dehydrated. And so making sure that you are consuming extra water is very important so that you feel good and you have the best results. We know our cells are light, that is science. And we know that um, this patch works with light and the water is the conductivity that helps that to happen. And so you have to have your water. So whatever you weigh, take that number and divide it in half. You are to be consuming half of your body weight in ounces every day. If you're up 50, or above, you're going to need to increase that a little bit um, because of the fact that your cells are dehydrated. If you're someone that consumes caffeine, coffee, sodas, or any kind of alcohol, then you're even more dehydrated. And so you're going to need to overcompensate with extra water from there as well too. But it's definitely not normal for you to experience some type of um, you know, detox from it. If you are just up your water intake, it's the best thing to do. You're not getting enough water. Yes, it's completely safe with a pacemaker. We have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people with pacemakers that their ejection fractions look like super athletes now um, after using this patch. So yeah, that's completely safe. It's not a foreign organ. You can have hip replacements, right, Laura? Um, knee replacements. Yeah, yeah. You can have bionic parts. I I uh, was zooming with a lady earlier that had been in a motorcycle accident. She had most of the whole entire side of her right side of her body a titanium plates <laughs> everywhere, rods, screws, you name it. Everything was holding this whole side together from a motorcycle accident about maybe eight, nine years ago, something like that. So she was super excited about her results so far using the patch and was excited to patch her horses. So what if I was, if you were born nine weeks early at two pounds, eight ounces, he's now 24 years old, would the patch help you? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it definitely would help them. So no matter what you were born, right? No matter what your situation was, um, the body wants to be in balance, right? And we know it gets out of balance from trauma, from stress, from injury, from surgeries, from illness and lifestyle and diet. And so no matter when you were born, no matter what age you are, whether you're two or you're 92, um, the patch is gonna help get your body back into balance from those outside um, you know, external things that are causing it to internally be out of balance. So husband has NF1, insulin dependent diabetic, niece was running over, was run over by a van. We also have a chronic pain. Um, 
uh, when I received the patch, I misunderstood. I had horrible back pain and my great nephew had to have cranial remodeling because of swelling in his brain. Applied the patch, the pain went away almost immediately. It was amazing. Where do you place patches when you have pain? Okay, so we have the patch called um, Ice Wave. So I'm gonna talk to you about three things. First of all, the um, X39 and the Eon. We want to address the root cause of the pain, okay? Number one is you're going to reduce inflammation at the same time that you're increasing stem cell production, okay? These two are vitally important for pain because pain, there's inflammation. We know that. And we want to get to the root. We know that um, the root cause of the disease in the physical body is inflammation. So these two are your, your number one starting point. I'm not going to tell you they're going to get rid of your pain immediately. Some You may be like Laura and 20 minutes later, her shoulder pain's gone. But I don't know. I would never say that. Okay. But I'm going to tell you to start with these two. What I'm going to tell you to get rid of your pain is called ice wave. Ice wave does not get to the root of the problem and is not going to repair anything. What ice wave is going to do is it's going to open up your energy channels in that area to alleviate the pain. Pain is stuck energy. Okay. And so you can see we have two patches. Ice wave has a tan and a white patch. We have Aculife. That's for horses, right? I just mentioned horses. It's the exact same thing. There's nothing different. So if your husband's being a horses, you know what? You can put the Aculife on him instead of the ice wave. <laughs> I went through more AccuLife I think than I have for than I have. I guess when I ordered at the beginning, I live in a horse community. I ordered a ton of AccuLife and I forgot to order Ice Wave. And so I was using when he golfs, his ankle hurts. And so um, just from walking, right, 18 holes on the course, he had shattered his tailless bone when he was before I met him, dirt bike riding. And so I'll put the Ice Wave or AccuLife on his ankles and it gets rid of his pain like that. So this patch works where the pain is. So if the pain is in my left shoulder, I'm going to put the tan patch on my left shoulder. I'm going to put the white patch on my right shoulder. Okay. So this works with the polarity of your body. Now there are different methods. You can go to YouTube and you can type in ice wave, life wave, and you can see David doing the clockwise and moving it around and sandwiching it and doing all this stuff. To me, it's always been a little too confusing. And I know a confused mind says no. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to put these two on. <laughs> you're going to put these two on. <laughs> then you're going to put the tan one on the left side of your body and the white one on the right. Had a girl earlier, we we're doing Zoom. She had a migraine. It was coming from the side of her neck. On the right side, we put the white one. On the left side, we put the tan one. Within 10 minutes, her pain was gone. The migraine was gone. So you want to apply these on the location. If it's your knee that hurts, and it's your left knee, then put the tan one on the spot on the left knee that it hurts. Put the white one on the right knee. I talked to a lady yesterday, a brand new customer. She had just got her patches in and she said, my daughter has migraines and the migraine is not gone. It's been 30 minutes. And I said, well, tell me where you put these patches. Cause I told her to call me before she applied them. And she goes, well, I put the white one on the back of her neck. I said, okay, but it's not the location. You were to call me before, so you wasted 30 minutes of her life. So <laughs> there's two patches. <laughs> you put the white on the right, the tan on the left. And I said, let's put them down below the occiput, right? One on this side, one on this side. Their spine is your midline. The white one is going to the right of the spine. The tan one is going to the left of the spine. And then it was like, we, we were on the phone five minutes and her daughter's pain dissipated. It was like, it's important that you follow instructions. Instructions are to use both patches and keep the white on the right and the tan on the left. Okay. That keeps it super simple and easy. Um, ice wave, yeah, it can be used for anything instead of Advil or Relief, right? Obviously, much safer on your liver. What other questions do you guys have tonight? Anything else that I can help you with? Feel free to unmute yourself or just type it in the chat. I have a question. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So you were talking about you were showing the picture of the tan, mm -hmm. which was the which is the, which is the eon. I, I was I forgot. I mean, you were going fast. I was trying to write down, but maybe so that was eon like is that. the patch that reduces inflammation. Okay, so those aren't that's not the dual one that you do at the same time. The X thirty nine and the eon. If you want to address the root cause, if you okay. have a symptom and you're in pain, like you anything you have to take. Um, 
say Advil or pain reliever for when you would use yep. ice wave. But yep. the ice wave itself is a it's a one patch or a two patch process. It's that's the one that's the that's two. The two. Yeah. I, I I lost something in translation. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay. You're welcome. No, great question. Um, Parkinson's or epilepsy success. Yes. So we have a telegram channel. So Vanessa, whoever invited you, they can go to our telegram channel. They can pull up, you can type in in the search. We have over 3000 recorded testimonials. And so you can search Parkinson's, they can search epilepsy and they can share with you personal testimonials of people. We don't do clinical studies on those things, right? Um, because then we'd be claiming to cure or treat something. We definitely don't want to do that. But we do have those recorded testimonials so people can share that what has been going on with them, their symptoms, things they're experiencing, how long they've been using the patch, and then their results since then. So I need to get the ice wave. I have the X39. So now I wonder, well, wonder if I do it with both, it be different. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. What other questions do you guys have? Dr. Stacy, um, the uh, Lisa that asked the question uh, about the the pain in the patches, mm -hmm. her nephew just had reconfigurated um, surgery on his head, and he I think he's about four years old. Okay. And her question was, was it okay for him to use it? Mm -hmm. um, I know she put everything in her question, but um, I, I've told her it would be a great thing for him because he's not, uh, eating right. He's, um, losing weight. His, uh, function, uh, is not the same. It's actually getting worse since the mm -hmm. surgery, but the doctors are telling him just to wait. And I said, sometimes they don't know what the patch is. I would use the X39 and Eon for sure, for sure. So I, I have a question too. Hey, but, um, you can use the ice wave. Yeah, I, I did. I got the sample. Uh, Katana Ray was kind enough to give us the X39 to try. Mm -hmm. But with the opening up his skull and having the brain surgery, it really freaked me out. And apparently, I, I'm dyslexic and I can't really talk, type tonight. So I just thought I would clarify. Like mm -hmm. with him, he had the he had craniosis. I don't know if you're familiar with that was, but they had the he he had it was malnourished as an infant because my niece lived in extreme poverty, and um, so it's kind of a she's my half sister, my birth sister's mm -hmm. daughter, and I never met her, but we took her and her son in mm -hmm. because they were homeless in Arizona, and he wasn't getting the nutrition. But when he came here, I put him on an organic diet. And because um, I'm an all natural, organic, sustainable chef and his brain started to grow and his body started to grow. And then there was no room because the sutures in his skull had closed too soon. Wow. And so at four year old, he had to have a surgery that typically is done at six months old. Mm. But we're going through children's and my niece was run over by a van and has to have hip replacement surgery soon. Mm -hmm. I have severe ne neuropathy. My brother just had heart, open heart surgery. And so we have a lot of biological things going on in the family. Mm -hmm. And my husband has neurofibromatosis one. And so he ends up having a lot of chronic pain. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he grows tumors that are typically benign. Mm -hmm. But this is very interesting. So I'm very excited mm -hmm. about this. Um, and I, I'm hoping to make it affordable for our family because like, we are, are kind of disabled. Yeah. So, but with Ryan, we are waiting because we are being evaluated by children's. Mm -hmm. And so we cannot go outside of the program with them. And right. he was malnourished, but since he's come here, he, he's doing better with um, having the gastric problems. He had, he was born with like uh, somewhere he couldn't like absorb food and nutrients. Mm, okay. So we have to follow their program pretty right. strictly right now until his evaluation is complete. Mm -hmm. But we decided that the adults in our family, it would be good to give it a go. Yeah. And he, and I had, I had like really bad back pain in my lower back mm -hmm. from stress probably with all the surgery and stuff happening. 
and I put the patch on. I did it all wrong because I read her directions wrong, and I took two of those patches and put it on near my lower back where I had the pain. Mm -hmm. One on each side of my back, actually, but it was the same patch. It was the X39. And I thought it stayed on for five days. So I never took it off for five days. Oh. But, but after about 30 minutes, my pain was gone, which was amazing because I had, had pain for two solid days. That was so wow. incredible. I couldn't even stand up and walk. Wow. And so that helped me get through the surgery. So I think it's a really good you know, product and investment, but we've got to figure out with all the stuff mm -hmm. going on, how we're going to manage it because everybody in the family is going to have to probably use it. So right. we're going to try to sort that out with mm -hmm. Katana and see yeah. what we can do. Yeah, that, that sounds well. These patches will definitely help all of you adults. And if it happens to help, you know, that there's a time down the road that he's able to do that, it'll definitely help him as well too. Um, with so many things, but yeah, they will definitely help you use the X39, the Eon and the ice wave definitely for pain. Definitely. Um, okay. So Laura says, can you explain the benefit of using X39 and Eon at the same time? Yes. So Eon reduces inflammation. When you have inflammation in the body, obviously low back pain, right? There's inflammation there. That's why your doctor prescribes an anti-inflammatory, right? Probably a muscle relaxer, a painkiller. And so the anti-inflammatory patch is our Eon. So this patch, when you reduce inflammation at the same time that you increase stem cell production, you set the body up for a more rapid, dramatic healing experience because it's able to um, get right down to the root much more efficiently because you've reduced inflammation. So if you were gonna go get stem cell injections in your knees, for example, your knees are inflamed, right? That's why you're going to get injections because you've done everything. You do cortisone shots, right? Right, you guys have heard of this. People do this stuff to try to reduce the inflammation so the pain goes away. Well, when you reduce the inflammation with this little round band-aid, it's like a dollar a day, and you increase your stem cell production for a couple of dollars a day, you give the body a better chance because those stem cells don't have to be consumed by the inflammation. If you were to inject, let's say, for example, 2 million stem cells in your body into the knee, and the knee's inflamed, right? Their stem cells are going to go right to the inflammation. The inflammation is going to consume the majority of those stem cells. You may be left with 200,000. All right. So doing this combination together, we call the dynamic duo really helps that body to, to get in that position to where it is uh, more set and ready to be able to experience the, the faster benefits of increasing stem cell production. And like I said before, you know, inflammation is the root cause of, of disease in the physical body. You've got to get to the root that this, this is about. This is not about masking a symptom or covering something up or making a number look a specific way. This is, let's get down to the meat, the core of it, the meat of it, right? Um, and somebody asked um, generally about stem cells, the different types, adipose uh, cells, as patchy increase adipose. Um, so basically here's the way this works. We're not um, using stem cells from a person's body, from fat in their body. We're not using cord blood. We're not using aborted fetal tissue, okay? So your body makes stem cells. Those stem cells are pluripotent. They can turn into any type of cell or tissue or organ the body needs. And they're happening at the cellular level. So they're not coming from your fat um, or they're not coming, obviously these are not, this is not outside of you. This signals your body to make more pluripotent stem cells. It's activating your body and actually does this through the skin. It's activating your body to, to wake up, mobilize, wake up those stem cells, right? Let's go. Brand new, healthy, pluripotent stem cells. Activate, elevate. Remember I said that it, it resets 6,000 of your genes. These stem cells turn into any cells that are needed in the body, right? Resetting those genes, you got a third of the genome figured out right there. If you take adipose cells from somebody else, for example, they're going to be the age of that person, right? So we're talking about brand new clear slate DNA reset stem cells, right? A third of the genome reset from this patch. And so being able to know that, know that each gene expresses to one or two other genes 
that compound effect, that cascade effect of day after day, week after week, month after month, signaling your body to make more of its own stem cells. It literally stops the aging process inside of your body and reverses the age, reverses the functionality of your cells and tissues and organs. We see this in clinical studies, totally different ball game. Plus the fact that it's the price of a cup of coffee, right? Stem cell injections are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with potential side effects, right? You're using donor cells. They could divide incorrectly. Your body's not gonna do that, right? Your stem cells know what to do. They know how to repair. They know how to regenerate, okay? Great questions though, I love it. So I am gonna go ahead and screen share now. If you guys have more questions, please feel free to um, keep typing them in the chat or asking, but I wanna get these names in here because it does take a little bit of time. And I have a Zoom I have to be on in five minutes. Our big Zoom, we're interviewing a, 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 an actual MD tonight, a medical doctor that is um, gonna share her testimonial and her information on the science and technology of these patches and how they work and how they have helped her in her practice. So I'm looking for Andy. Andy, where is your, <laughs> where is Andy's text message? Andy, is that you? Oh, thank God. Okay, good. All right. So the list you just sent me, Andy, is that the current list? Yes, that is the current list. Okay, perfect. So these are the people that are all here. They're all here. You're amazing. <laughs> you are so amazing. <laughs> you can tell I've been Zooming for 12 hours. <laughs> If I type it wrong, it's no big deal. You'll still be you. <laughs> no, no offense if I do. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that is our current list. Are there any guests on here, not from the previous Zoom, but are there any guests on here that I did not get your name before we spin this wheel? Yes, uh, there's Kelly no White. Sorry. Kelly White. Yes, and then Lisa Berkeley Rott. Lisa? Crystal, uh, yes, Lisa, and then Crystal. Okay. Anybody and then else? there's, there's Eva. Michael. EVA. I didn't hear the two women. There's Eva. Jeannie. Jeannie. Yeah. Greg, Judy, Eva, Andy, Karen. Andy, Christy with a C. Okay. Anybody else? Stacy, there's, there's some. some Greg. Say that again, Laura. There's some in the chat. Can you tell me what they um, are? I don't. Yep. Um, Marissa. <laughs> Karen, Suki, S-U-K-I. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna, let's see, we have one, two, three, um, four. How many do we have? 29, we have 29. All right, so we're gonna okay, give away. Uh, wait, there's, there's, there's actually um, Greg and Judy, Matt, Andy, and Karen Probst. Oh gosh, you're gonna have to say that again. Greg, Judy, I have an yes. Andy. You and then Matt and Andy. Yeah, I have Andy, Matt. Man and Mandy, M-A-N-D-Y. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to spin our wheel three and times. Okay, and there's Karen Post, because I think that's a different Karen. Karen what? And then that's what I have. Karen P. P. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that there's. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you, do you have an Isabel? Um. Nope. Okay. Right, Isabel. Okay. We good? Okay. Here we go. Who's gonna be the lucky winner? 
Fantastic. Christy with a C. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations, Christy. You won a free month of X39. Thank you. You're welcome. Who else do we have here? We have, oh, Isabel, you were on there twice. Carol, we have Carol. Congratulations, Carol. Way to go. One more time. Jane. <gasps> She's like, oh, fantastic. That's awesome. All right, you guys. So what I want you to do for those of you that are winners tonight, please get with the person that invited you. Um, give them your name, your first and last name, your address, give them your um yeah, name and address. It's perfectly fine. And get that information to Leah or to Laura. Laura is going to be in charge of mailing out your free X39s. So thank you so much for being here tonight. I appreciate all of you on here. I will have this recording uploaded. I have a Zoom now in five minutes, a Zoom at 930 and a call at 10. But after that, I will be uploading this to the um, YouTube and I'll give you guys, I'll send the link out to Laura and to Leah so you guys, she can share with anybody that wasn't able to make it. So congratulations, you guys. Thank you all for being on here tonight and have a fantastic Thursday. Jump onto the Zoom right now to hear from an MD and her personal testimonial as well.